Hello and welcome to my map tour of Deer Creek for FS22. So a little bit about Deer Creek and it says Deer Creek is a nice American map with the same climate as the base game, a nice farm and a nice expanse. Now when they say expanse they aren't lying. We'll have a look at that and we'll get to that in a bit. So this is a very big very open American map. But I've decided to do a little tour because it's very different. Very different. It's very unique to what I've come across. And before we get started, for a change, let's have a look at the equipment we start with and have a little look at our map. So here is our map and it's not going to be to everyone's liking, but I think this must be modelled off a genuine place in America. The description doesn't tell me or give me a location, but the way this is set up this to me looks very real. You have your start farm down here with your farmhouse. You have your workshop has a built-in office, absolutely brilliant. You have a large petrol tank. Then you have your GSI complex, which from what I understand is uh, a grain drying silo or a corn dryer. I think that is meant for corn drying. And I'll, I'll get more to why I think that as we go along. On the map, you also have a bale cell point of your animal dealer. Over here, we have our vehicle workshop and your vehicle shop. Then you have your gas station over here. Then over in this part, you have your one and only cell point, your grain elevator. And then down over here, you have a seed, fertilizer, and lime fill point. You have a propane fill point. You have a liquid fertilizer and herbicide fill point. And an anhydrous fill point. I have not got a clue what that is. I'm actually going to Google that. Okay, so anhydrous is uh, just a substance that contains no water. So I guess this is what you use to dry your crops. So this is why this is, sorry, a corn dryer. You would collect whatever this is, an hydros, and uh, take it to your corn dryer and dry your corn. Now further on from that, I also want to show you that on the map with the cell points, because it's quite limited, you can sell your wheat, you can sell barley, you can sell oat, you can sell canola and sorghum. There is nowhere for grapes, olives, you can sell sunflowers, soybeans, corn. There are no sell points. Cut sugar beet, that goes to the bale, that goes to the animals. Cotton, sugar cane. Seeds, there's a seed refill point. And that's where you purchase them from, up in that uh, corner. All the way down, we have uh, silage, grass, hay, and straw. And none of these again, but then all the way back down to the bottom, because these are uh, production ones, all the way down. We have, ignore some of these, these are because I've got mods just slapped in. Um, and hydros ammonia, so it is ammonia, so it's dehydrated ammonia which is used to dry the corn we buy that at that fill station and then you have propane but also dry corn so at the grain elevator corn dry corn are a different thing dry corn at the minute is going down but sells for 1128 regular corn going down sells for 1000 and 48 so it's worth more so going through the process of drying corn is worth more to you here so my understanding of um, Deer Creek is this is a big corn farm you start with a massive field field number one if we go back to the map you'll see that uh, you own field number one and this plot of land now you can purchase the periphery it's free and I guess that will allow you to place a few things, small cell points and whatnot, 
what you may need to uh, f further the map to your own personal liking. So uh, you can buy that. It costs us nothing. But other land, I think three and two, possibly the biggest. So field three costs you 1.2 million. Field two, 1.1 million. And then the smaller of the fields, probably 10, uh, 178 grand, 288 grand. So you need a lot of money. You need to make money. But this field, your field, is worth 1.3 million. It's massive. Absolutely massive. It's brilliant. It's so different. There are no animals built in, yet there is an animal dealer. Moving on to the equipment that you own. We have an abundance of John Deere here. You start with the 9520RX, the 8RT410, and the 8R310. Some nice big tractors, but you need them from the get-go. The size of these fields, they are monstrous. You start with a Mac Pinnacle 6x8. Harvester of choice is the John Deere X9 1100 with subsequent header. You have the hardy self-propelled Rubicon 9000 sprayer. Absolute beast this is. You need that here. You do start with the Lizard Pickup 2017. A Wilson trailer, the pace setter. A Demco 2200 dual auger grain cart. Quite a biggie. As uh, what's that? 77,000 litre capacity. That's massive. Like I say the uh, HT45X header. The C16F header. You have the uh, disc carol by Kainz, the Mac Till 412. For planters, you've got the John Deere 1775 NT. Again, this is a biggie. It's that 17.8 meter working width. Absolute monster. Get a trailer. And under miscellaneous, you have the Thunder Creek equipment FST 990. And uh, this is for fuel. But in downloading um, Deer Creek FS22, there are some bonus modified equipment. If we go here, and then under animals, ignore all the other mods. I'll point out the ones you want to be paying attention to. It comes with a modified MKS32 and MKS8. Now these are able to then carry the um, anhydrous ammonia, petroleum, uh, milk, water, uh, liquid fertilizer, and herbicide. Both of them do that. 32,000 litres, 8,000 litres. And they are included in the, done, in the download for the map. It has to all be unzipped. So whereas normally you'd download and just move the zip file to your mods, you'll download a zipped file. This file needs to be unzipped. And then what comes out of this zip file moved into your mods folder and then you'll have the map and the equipment that you need. So now we've got all of that out of the way, let's go and have a look at this monstrous map. We'll bring our map up as well, because uh, we know I get lost. You start at your farmhouse when you come in. This is your farm complex. It's brilliant. Everything here is custom, and uh, that's what impresses me so much. This is your GSI, this is your grain silo, this is your drying bin. Let's just take a little bit of time to look at this. This is absolutely brilliant. You dump here, you fill here. Let's just get round there and have a little look. I am so impressed with that way this is done I just think this has to be a real place and then from around this side where you've got the gas tanks you have an unload point 
And this, for all intents and purposes, must be where you unload your um, anhydrous ammonia. I think that goes here. You have your uh, petroleum refill here. We have this massive shed. Again, all looks completely custom. Right up inside we have our John Deere harvester. We've got the uh, grain header on this side. Corn headers over here. We've got the uh, 8RT and the Demco in the back. So it's a bit more room for more stuff here if you wish. Try and get round. This is going to be a big, a big tour because it's just such a big map. And then round the outside, we've got the 9520RX with the uh, with the drill, not the drill, but the the tiller. And this field here is yours. As far as the eye can see, that is your... And it goes round. That is your starting field. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm going to play this. I don't normally do American maps, but there's something about this that makes me think, God, yeah, I want to do this. It's different. It looks so different. Now here we have another shed. Now the doors at first confused me. I have been on and had a quick look. The doors confused me. I was like, oh, this beautiful shed and the doors don't work. What's going on? Why can't I get in there? You can. You go in via the, via the door. But then to work these doors, they're there. Let's see more people do this. No more walking up to the door and just bang in your button and it opens. Let's have an actual button. This is brilliant. Sorry, but this is brilliant. I love it. Then uh, close again. So in here you've got your sprayer. You've got your other tractor. We have uh, an AR310 with the uh, planter on the back. Uh, your workshop area, one would imagine. So we also have. Oh, that's cool. So these are parts on order. These are the jobs to do. Those are the acreage as well. Who owns them? Oh, brilliant. Look at the, the detail. Look at that. That is uh, very impressive. Very impressive. And over here, we have our whoop, our truck. And this is your actual workshop area here where you can uh, sort out your uh, machinery and your vehicles. These doors do open like regular ones. Very nice. Let's just open that one because we're going to want to head out later. Calm yourself. Love it. And in here is our office. Although, when I come in here, I feel a bit small. <laughs> let's see if we can... Uh... Oh, let's grow a little bit. There we go. We're a bit taller now. Lovely picture. You see, this is... Uh, I can say, very John Deere heavy. But that's how it is. Oh, yeah, we've got to sell some football. Is that a bit of college football, a bit of high school football there going on? Don't recognise the jerseys. Right, so let's get ourselves a vehicle. Now I'm too tall. There we are. We'll jump in. We do have the uh, auto engine to start on, which uh, I'm not a fan of, but hey, we'll go with it. We'll work with it. And I think that's everything at the farm. Here, anyway. So we're going to head out 
Now I'm going to pan out a bit so you can see the, the grand expanse that is this farm. So we'll come out here and we shall head east. No, we won't. We'll head west. We'll head west. There's nothing east. We'll head west. Like I say, on the left, all that <laughs> is your field. I think that's brilliant. Now, if any of the guys that made this map can get on and comment and tell me whether this is a real place or not. Because I just think it's too detailed. It's too good. It's, it's like it's too accurate. Right. Let's put our foot down a bit. And we'll see what else we have. Water tower off in the distance over there. Sorry. Over there. Brilliant. Right, let's pull in. Get out of everyone's way. So we are at the livestock market. Here you have your bale sell point. And uh, I believe that was also selling, or also buying um, chopped beets for feed. Here. Where you purchase your animals. You don't have any animals yet, so you place your animals wherever you want. Buy the land, put them down. Buy your uh, buy them here. And then this, hopefully it does it again. Hopefully it won't like one off. Listen to this. I'm sorry, but I think that is absolutely brilliant. It's such a little thing, but... So you walk away and you can't hear it, but there's a live auction going on in what is that? Larson's Loyal Livestock. Absolutely brilliant. I love that. I love that. These trees are nice as well. Tell I'm impressed. I'm, I'm not normally, it sounds horrible, doesn't it? But I'm not normally <laughs> really impressed with the American maps. Even though this has got the big square fields, they are an unusual shape. There he is again. <laughs> I love that auction here. It's absolutely great. So here, we're coming in. And this is our sort of big buying complex. Big lake there. So as we go round, we'll see where everything is. I may have to open up the map to click on everything. It is a little bit noisy. So, because I don't think it's going to tell me when I look at it. No, it's not. So, over here, oh, it says on the side, so that's okay. You have your propane. Now, this is a purchase point here, so you buy propane from here, like I say, with the modified trailers. Here is your liquids. So, this is uh, one of these would be a choice of liquid fertilizer and herbicide. Now, unfortunately, these don't open, and <laughs> I've done a bit of jumping. There's nothing to see in there. It's just the insides of that, but it's very cool. And here we have our solids fill point. So this would be for seed, solid fertilizer, and um, lime. And over at the back here is your anhydrous ammonia. Oh, it says there on the side there, anhydrous ammonia. And then you'd fill up from here, and then you'd take that off and put into your grain dryer. You've got a little bit of storage out here, should you so wish to use it. But yeah, I think the the idea of drying out the grain first, or the corn specifically, drying out the corn first. I'm not sure how long that process is. I'd have to obviously have to play the map, and that's why I want to play it, because there's something different here. Um, something that I've not ever done, so yeah, I want to have a go at that. We can't even skip across out there, we've got to take the road. I'm going to try and stay right out just because it just shows off the map. You can't always do that on the, uh, on the European ones because of the trees, it makes you ping back in. So this is allowing us, or because of the trees, you can't see where you're going. So we're going to head out. 
We're going to go across, and then we're going to take a left and go north. As you can see, it's just this big, expansive map. I've got the toe down now. I try not to hit nothing at this speed. So that's our farm. There's plenty of land. You can do more with it as you wish. There's all that land at the front that's your garden. If you want to stick some chickens down and have a bit of fun doing that as well. And there's no law saying you have to keep that field as one massive field. I think you should. But, you know, we've all seen people that have massive fields and then convert them into four smaller fields or, or less. Or just work half of it and then a little bit more at a later date. As you can see off into the distance, everything comes in. I do have the, uh, the spawning from the distance on set pretty high, so things things are popping in nice and early. I do like to try and be able to have everything come in from right across the map. But this is this is definitely Corn Belt country. This is is that Midwest. I just think it looks so, as empty as it is, and that's something I'll always complain about, empty maps. As empty as it is, I think this looks good. It's got little features. So on our left, as we go in, we have our John Deere dealership. We have the Agpro companies where you would uh, purchase and then round on the side although with your big old shed you shouldn't need it but you've got your sell point here so I guess it's there for that but sale and repairs I am assuming as one would that you just pull up to around this area there's nothing marked out so I just bring it around the back here and as I like to do we will purchase something we'll just get ourselves a small tractor. There we go. And that spawns in. Where does it spawn in? It's spawned in on me. I feel like I've gotten stuck now. What's going on? Right. Where's the tractor? Around the other side. Here. Yeah. This massive space. See, now even in here you could probably fit yourself a little cell point or something. So the tractors or purchased equipment comes in around here. And again, I don't think these doors open, which is a shame. They could have, could have had a nice little workshop in there. Now I've got version 1. Apparently there is a version 1.0.1.0. But that's not on kingmods.net, so where you would find that I am not sure. Maybe one of the guys that create this could let us know in the comments. That would be super cool. Because I'd love to have the most up-to-date version to play on. And then here on our right... ...is our gas station. Get your petrol. Obviously, bring that big old fuel uh, Bowser. Fill that up. Do you think? Then on our left, the game looks pretty cool. It's your grain elevator. This is where we sell. Yay, I like that. I like it when the uh, weighing scales actually work. I like that. So we'll jump out here, have a little look. Now I don't know if these doors open. They don't look like they would. But I'd like to give everything a try now. So yeah, we've got our big industrial grain sail here. Like I said, it's, it is it's very loud. Upload both here. And this, this is your only sail point. Now I haven't seen any collectibles on the map. Not that I generally look for the collectibles, but I know people do like that. I've not picked, I still, still haven't picked up a single collectible in this game. But yeah, this is, this is big, this is nice, this is 100% custom. 
that seems a little off. Um, but yeah, at the minute it is only getting away so we don't have to shell. Grain crops that you can sell here and your two types of corn, regular and dried corn. But with everything that's in the mod hub, you can add whatever you like. You could buy field 10 and turn that into a large cell point up the top here as well. You could buy any field and turn it into a cell point. But to me, 10 would make the most sense. But that is it. I can't think of anything else to say or show. That is the map. <laughs> I really like it. It's, it's Honestly, it's not often I say that about American maps. It's very rare. Not xenophobic, I just like my tight little British maps. But this intrigues me. The grain drying intrigues me, or the corn drying intrigues me. So guys, if you like this map tour, if you've enjoyed this video, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn your bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. If you enjoy or want to have a go on this map, it is Deer Creek FS22. I will leave a link down in the description. You guys have yourselves a wonderful day. Hopefully I'll see you again very soon. Bye bye.